Estabas tan bonita, tan sensual Me imaginé ajena y me hizo mal Ay, ay, amor no, I, I should have been born in another century when, when the anvil was considered high tech The computers and I just don't mix, like oil and vinegar. You know, make that uh, orange juice and milk. It leaves a sour taste in my mouth. You know, so, somehow I, I just can't seem to, to swallow the concepts. Uh, now take, take computer literacy, for example. Uh, when was the last time you ever heard of a, a computer writing a book? Now it seems like everything from a simple wristwatch to automobiles or microprocessor control. And what's next? Uh, computerized vibrators? Uh, or, or no, how about uh, microprocessor control jock straps? <laughs> Designed by the Department of Defense, of course. Uh, completely equipped with range finders and uh, uh, load levelers and infrared night vision. <laughs> Things that used to be completely routine for me are completely impossible now. But it's all because of computers. My company was no different. Yeah, they were bitten by the bug too. They just moved into this brand new building and everything was computer controlled, including the heating system. Thanks. Ken, man, it's freezing in here. This place is like an ice cave. At least that old building had those radiators we could sit next to, huh? Marty, those old steam radiators were inefficient. They didn't circulate the heat. Besides, the computer control system we have now is economical to operate. Well, yeah, if you could call something economical, it costs two million dollars to install. Don't worry, it amortizes itself. Yeah, and I'll be dead by then. You know, one of those cryonic cadavers look like Woody Allen in Sleeper. If you're so cold, then go ask the boss if he can reprogram the thermostat. And why do I have to do all the dirty work? Because you're the one who's cold. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Riley. I was wondering if you could turn the heat up a little. We'll get a little cold out here. There's no need to. It's already programmed for the optimum working environment. If you're an Eskimo, yeah. Uh, seriously, Mr. Riley, you're slowing me down. Uh, my, my blood's so thick, my heart needs a shovel. Yeah, and so is your bullshit. What do you mean? Last night I had to take my bullshit home and thaw it out on the stove before you figure out what I said. Engineering, Riley, here. Yeah, I'll hold on a This is going to take a little while. Let's go take care of that yourself, all right? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Riley, I can't. Okay, now what? Uh, hmm. Some override. Uh, set endpoint. Insert variables. Huh, what happened to the little lever? You move back and forth. Oh. Let's see. Right, back, back. Okay, let's see what that does. Nice going, Marty. Well, I told him I didn't want to mess with that thermostat. <laughs> so, uh, how hot do you think it is in here, anyway? Damn hot. Yeah, you're not pretty. How much longer is this going to take? I don't know. The whole system's kaput. He must have overloaded the microprocessor. When he did that, it started thermal cycling. <sighs> Took out all the protection circuits. It'll be at least a week before we can get this repaired. A week? It's like Saudi Arabia in there. What am I supposed to tell my employees? Have them design oil wells. And you can? There you go. After that, things really started to heat up in my life. Well, certainly after that, I met Barbara. And she was the new secretary at work. She was young and gorgeous and single. And once again, it was that old nemesis of mine, the microprocessor, that set us up. Well, 
Shorty. Yeah. Run a complete set of these schematics for me, will you? I need them for a meeting in half an hour. Our machine won't handle the size. Then you will. Oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. I don't need any more. Uh, I was just going to try that one. <laughs> you forgot to change the document size. Microprocessors can't read minds yet, you know. Well, God help us when they can, huh? Hey, you're the new secretary, aren't you? Yes. It's my second day. Well, my name's Marty Beal. What's yours? I'm Barbara. Barbara... It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, come on. You can tell me. They, they stopped my sodium pentothal treatments last week. <laughs> okay. It's Flies. Barbara Flies. Oh, that's a wonderful name. <laughs> oh, seriously, there's nothing wrong with that name. It sort of brings to mind images of Jonathan Livingston Seagull, huh? or trout fishing in Montana. Or garbage cans. That's what people always say. Yeah, well, don't worry about what other people say. Well, it's obvious you're an intelligent young woman. Look at the way you, you conquered this silicon monster. There was nothing. Well, that guy owe you one for helping me out of this. Now they say that opposites attract. Or is it that similar personalities can't stand each other? That sounds like Well, we had one thing in common. We were opposites. I like sushi. Well, in any case, we were married three months later. Okay, uh, uh, how about if I swing by about noon? Maybe you're in the North Wing. I promise to love, honor, and interface until death do us part, or there is a power shortage, whichever comes first. <clears throat> I promise to love, honor, and intercourse until death do us part, until there's a power shortage, especially if there's a power shortage. The ring. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. After a while, the strain of working together at the same company was reaching a breaking point, so Barbara took a job at a computer-aided dating service. She was excellent at her new job. <laughs> there wasn't a date she couldn't match. People around the office nicknamed her Barbara Blind Date. Arthur, Marie, this is really great. We got you two together. You look great together. I think it's just right. What do you think? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Ready to go out and have a good time? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. great. Well, do have fun, okay? Please. Glad we can help you out. Thank you a lot. Let me know what happens, all right? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Her confidence and knowledge continued to grow. Eventually, she wanted a computer of her own. Every time we passed a computer store, she reminded me how many days were left till Christmas. No, 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 we're not, no, Barbara, no, no, stuff. Barbara, we're again, please, Barbara, don't, no. I finally got the message and got her one. I tried to keep it a secret from her, but she was persistent. I think she finally figured it out when we were out shopping for a tree. Ooh. Is this one any better? Let's we'll see, uh... No, oh, no, let's see the side. It's all flat. Oh, I guess that is a little one-dimensional. <laughs> yeah, one-dimensional. Looks like a Grandma Moses painting. Hey, you know, this is pretty discouraging. You'd think out of all these trees, there'd be at least one decent tree. Well, well, don't hold your breath. You see, these are all the indecent ones. They've all been busted on morals charges. <laughs> Listen, I tell you what. Let's get that one that you said looks like a broken comb. All right, the old broken comb it is. Let's find it. Is this the one? <laughs> God, you know, I can't even tell anymore. They all look like they come from the same pine cone. Oh, this isn't it. This isn't our tree. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. I'll find us a tree, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Uh, look at that one. What do you think, huh? 
Huh? See? It's wonderful. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ooh, this is going to be a very special Christmas. Yeah, expensive one. Did you um, get me a computer? Now, Barbara, what makes you think I'd buy you a computer? I, you know I hate computers. You did, didn't you? I didn't say that. But you said it was going to be expensive. Well, going to dinner is expensive. Buying new shoes is expensive. It's just an expression. You did. I know you did. Jeez, Barbara, you know, Christmas is supposed to be a surprise. I saw the canceled check. <sighs> what were you? One of those kids who used to secretly unwrap your Christmas present? <laughs> I x-rayed them. Oh, you x-rayed them? On what? In my dad's doctor's office. <laughs> you know, you don't belong working for a dating service. You belong working for the CIA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go pay for this. I'm freezing. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 I guess we'll leave this out here, huh? Says who? Uh, well, says she. Well, ain't that too bad. Marty, do something. Don't let him take our tree. The man's a lumberjack. Paul Bunyan couldn't phase him. Well, if you won't, I will. I'll look, look, look. All right, all right. I'll talk to him, all right? <laughs> all right. Uh, look, there's always been some kind of misunderstanding here. You, you, you've accidentally taken our tree. I, I think that one over there is yours. Bullshit. Here, take this. Shut up, or do I have to squish you into a Christmas <laughs> ornament? No, 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 really. Uh, I was a hood ornament last year. Uh, I think this year I'll be a tassel. Huh? huh? Oh, you see, you're supposed to say, Look, buddy, I don't care if you hang from my rearview mirror or my Christmas tree. You're not taking that tree. To which I then reply, Only if you're man enough to stop me. And then you say, Look, I'm sorry, big mistake. Excuse me, please. And I say, that's all right, my son. It's all right. All is forgiven. Please, go in peace. <laughs> what am I supposed to say now? Well, uh, nothing, really. See, you've been talking way too much. Come on, let's get out of here. This guy's up. He's seen one too many tequila work. Give me that tree. Let's go. Yeah. Tomorrow he'll be going to buy new clothes at Kmart, and I'll be eating Jell-O. Next time I get my mouth kicked in, do me a favor, remind me to go to the dentist first, so at least I can get a shot of Novocaine. Okay. Maybe that scumbag should have killed me. <laughs> it would have saved me a lot of pain and agony, I'm sure. Anyway, as the months passed, I saw less and less of Barbara. She'd come home from work and lock herself in her computer room. Said she was having trouble communicating with an inferior species. I told her I had trouble communicating with computers, too. She said that she'd been referring to me. Anyway, she decided she wanted to go back to school and get her degree in computer science. I guess that was the beginning of the end. Can I come in? OK. How's it going? Just a bit more than I'm finished. Good. Because I'm just about done with my homework, too. What do you say we celebrate tonight, huh? Watch out for that flag over there. I haven't saved this yet. All oh, right. Yeah, maybe we could uh, catch a movie, get some dinner, maybe a little uh, hubba hubba, huh? Two out of three sound OK. That's it. I'm finished. Now all I have to do is save this program and I can put it on the school's mainframe on Monday. Ah, uh, great! Cause I'm done with my work too! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get you. Ooh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. Well, the next day, Barbara got an apartment off campus. So she claimed it would give her better access to the university's mainframe. I knew differently. Yeah, she was pulling the plug on our marriage, even though she said it was just temporary. For the next several months, I did what any, what any hot-blooded American male would have done. I had sex with countless beauties.
Mori! Have a chair. Sit. Mori, I've been noticing the good work you've been doing lately. That's why I'm sending you along with that Ken Davis. The CAD Tech Seminar in Los Angeles, where you'll both be trained in a new CAD system we just purchased. <laughs> Mr. Riley, I hate computers. No, Marty, it's an honor to be selected as one of Microtronics' first CAD operators. Oh, I'm sure you'll do your best. Oh, please, Mr. Riley, I'll take a cut and pay, huh? Marty, be a man. You gotta beat the challenge head on. Now, when I was with NASA back in the Redstone days, we were blazing new trails. Pioneers of space was what we called ourselves. Huh? You get the pioneer spirit and be on your way. Come on, Mr. Wright. Tu escote, tu luna. Ah. 